there with the piazza. Yeah. Are we able to take the hook out? Uh, it's going to take me a minute, but okay. this okay. side? We're rolling. Yeah, last time I did it on that side, so yeah, let's do this side. Good call. Um, okay, great. <sighs> All right. Here's another beauty of the Amazon Basin. This is the peacock bass, also known as Tucanari. This, is, uh, this species is actually an endemic to the specific Jingu River. It's known as Sikumalani. Uh, so you don't find it in any other parts of the Amazon. So this is a really amazing, unique catch. Really strong fish, too. It hit just as hard as that piranha did. Uh, but uh, you'll see it has a very different type of jaw. The jaws on these guys are protrusible, meaning the upper jaw and the lower jaw work together to shoot the jaw forward and it creates a tube that allows it to suck water in and what it does is actually sucks its prey into its mouth whole. So it swallows its prey whole without actually biting chunks out of it, which is totally different from what the piranha does. And so for comparison, we want to look at the bite force on this guy when he actually bites down and we expect it to be actually a lot weaker than the piranha because it has a totally different feeding mode. It's actually sucking in whole prey items instead of biting them. Where's the teeth? It has very small teeth that are just kind of like Velcro. So it just, if it grabs, if it kind of misses the fish, it'll grab onto them just a little bit and then suction them down their throat in, in, in one big bite. So what's the difference between sticking your hand in here and sticking your hand in the piranha? Yeah, and the piranha, the teeth are so sharp and razor sharp in the teeth and large and they can generate, as we found out, such strong forces. They slice right through my finger, but these teeth are much, much smaller, almost like Velcro. Um, so it's much easier to handle it by its jaw. I can do that. Uh, it's still strong. It's biting down on me, but it's, uh, it's not going to do any real damage because it can't generate the same bite forces as a piranha. How do you feel pulling that in? Man, he hit, it was amazing. This is a very strong fish. Um, actually rocked me, drove me into the rocks, and I had to actually kind of pull him out of the rocks. Um, if I had any lighter tackle, I probably would have lost him. But uh, he's a gorgeous animal. Gorgeous. What does this have to do with uh, your study? Well, what we want to do is we want to compare the bite on this guy to the piranha. And this, you can see this fish is probably three times larger than the piranha that we had earlier. And we expect that its bite force is actually going to be a lot weaker. Um, hopefully he'll, he'll do as he's told and actually give us some data, but uh, it's not guaranteed. Because um, these fish don't really bite much. They, they suction. They, they expand their heads really rapidly to draw prey and draw water into the mouth and swallow them whole. So it may or may not work, but we're going to give it a try to see what happens. Is it a relative of the piranha? No, not even closely related to the piranha. This is... Uh, uh, from the family Cichlidae. So they're another group of really speciose fishes that are found in the Amazon and in Africa as well. Uh, but they've been a very successful group that uh, through evolution have radiated through many basins, the Amazon, Congo basins in, in, uh, in Africa. you think piranha uh, eat these? Uh, I think piranha may, eat, may take bites out of these, uh, but they're pretty formidable predators themselves. They probably eat small piranhas. Um, but piranhas probably nip at them as well. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a battle royale between those two predators.